gonna start low. We're gonna start pretty low on low speed. And we're gonna whip our butter. We are whipping. We did a lot of whipping earlier on our butter. This is just whipped butter here, right here. Look at the detail I'm working on this foot with, people. And I'm gonna put about half this bottle. Just to give it a little rub flavor. Just a little bit. Just about half. Another thing you may want to do with something like this is to put it into a pastry bag and pump it out. You can put this on any kind of a summer afternoon uh, pastry. Right now the yam is getting to be a little bit fragile, so we have to be very careful. Our cuts won't break off major body parts. We want those body parts to remain intact, and I really messed up the bag. Sorry, folks. You have to keep it wet. The yeah, end's got to stay wet, too. I already made that cut in there, so I have to go back to there. However, what I like to do is serve that up with a nice, uh, with a nice raisin bread that I'd pick up at a local bakery. And it's real beautiful sometimes to just, you know, just come right out and just add a little bit of that, so a little bit of that rum butter. And just put it right on your raisin bread. You know, serve with a cup of tea. Mmm. Mmm. So let's cut this off to be there too. Good. Now let's go down with the shoulder. Come across here. And our shoulder comes back here. And here and there. And we have that little part of the back there with the rumpus there. Uh, a little too much there. I just try to get a lot of perspective on what's happening. You have to kind of turn it a lot and look around, see where, where, how big is the cut that I want to make here, how big, and you want the head to come back about like that while the arm comes over. With the rumpus there. We have rum butter, dear. I know, I want to put peanut butter on something. Peanut she wants butter to use and rum butter? Can you bring it? Oh, put the peanut butter on with butter. With rum butter. Rum butter? Yeah. Okay, I'll try one piece of that and one piece of that. Alright. I already have the bread in the toaster. Good. That's really good. 
Thank you. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. In the money. In the money. Well, I'm in the money. To be honest, I don't taste much of the rum butter. I taste the peanut butter. It's hmm. overpowering the other. Put some more rum in there. I thought it'd eat a little rum on there. Just take a sip. And then eat it. Yeah, just take a sip of rum and then and then have a have a uh, peanut butter bread chaser. I think I'll leave it in my mouth and then. Right, and mix it up, kind of like a a, a blender. So you should not gargle a little bit. Mmm. <laughs> we used to do this down in Mexico <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Good. Good work. Okay. What's in that purple? I guess purple butter's in butter. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your chin and a little dimple here. Ah, I can't do much more. Keep doing it. Say so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Notice I'm continually looking over the whole entire body so I can get perspective on what's going on here. Perspective is all about perspective. See, you got that hole there. And the hole there. A little bit wide back here, so we're gonna pare down this part right here. And let that become the arm. Head there. And we'll see how long the head is. A little too long. Stick out. Well, folks, it looks like that's uh, it's taking a long time to carve this sculpture. Looks like we're out of time. Um, Mark, maybe we'll have to uh, just kind of close the show down and uh, yeah. Start again. Uh, start again on part four next time. Part four. We'll catch up. Oh, we we'll catch up later. Four. I'm not sure. Um, I was thinking maybe we can go on a hike. You know, outdoors. What do you think? That's a great idea. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. See you later. Next time on Cooking with Butter. See you next time on Cooking with Butter. Cooking with Butter. Part four. Part four. Bubble, 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 bubble